All right, this one's going to be on um, a command line calculator. Uh, there's a few ways to do this, and these are the two that I know of. All right. First of all, there's a lot of people who use BC, which is a command line calculator program. And the reason why I don't like to use this, first of all, they have like this little, um, you know, this copyright notice every time you run it. And when you just type in BC only, you can do like you know addition, subtraction, and all that. But once you go to, uh, let's say for example division, you go like seven divided by six. See, it gives you like the whole number. It doesn't give you like a decimal number, which is usually what we want. Uh, the reason for that is that they don't have the math libraries. So what you have to do is just cancel all this here is basically you type in BC dash L and the L is for the math libraries I believe and then when you do that it will let you use um, some other math features that they have so for example now that we do 7 divided by 6 it will have the decimal numbers right and they do have some other ones like um, for example like sine of let's say 90 or something like that right or cos cosine of I don't know let's say 30 or some shit like that um, so that's some of the advanced stuff that they have in there but usually this is what people use if they want to do you know math from the command line and you can do this with let's say for, for example like exponents so the exponent is that little house sign right and then there you go right so you can do any of that uh, if you want more help on it uh, you can you read the help, but to cancel all of this, you just press Control D, not to be confused with Control C. All right, it doesn't work. Say Control C, Control D. That's how you stop it. Um, but if you want to get more help on it, you just go Man B C, and you know you can see here the the dash L is for the math libraries, like I said, and for the other ones, see what example. Like they do have. What the hell is that at? I do have other stuff, but you know the ones that I talked about was like sine, uh, cosine, arctangent, and all that. Not something I would use, but it's there if you want to use it, right? Uh, but like I said, I, I don't use the BC one. I actually use Python because um, I know Python is installed on most distributions, and I just rather use that than install some extra ones that I don't really need. So. Normally you'll run Python like this, you know, just type in Python. Again, I don't really like to look at this stupid thing, right? It's just a waste of time. Um, but let's say you do like, you know, the addition, um, you know, subtraction and all that. But again, the same thing is when you go to division, 7 divided by 6, see it gives you that. Now the, the way around it, you usually put like a dot you know or, or dot zero or something like that or you just push dot and it'll give you that but that's inconvenient too so what I do uh, well let's exit out of this again you you don't push control C you push control D to stop it right but this is my alias here um, I think it's an alias let's see is that an alias yeah this is my alias here and, and basically it'll fill up all the information that uh, you would want like you want to import the division part so you can have you know um, when you're doing division they'll give you like a decimal numbers if you know it comes out as a decimal and we're using the math libraries usually I don't use the math libraries but you know so in some cases if you want to use like uh, tan cosine or whatever it is and, and then we re, uh, imported this to the random one which I forgot what the hell it does but anyways the alias is you know is this so you just run in calc and you see that I don't, I don't have that little uh, I guess was that the the Python opening message that's stupid it's just like three arrows right and from here you can um, you know do your your like your additions your minus whatever uh, as far as for exponents let's say for example three um, to the power of three you you go the multiplication two times and then you know times by three or I mean to the power of three not to be confused with three times three and that's just nine alright 
so you don't use that little house sign anymore for exponents um, as far as for other advanced stuff we give you an example well let's saw some uh, uh, things that they have in the math modules like sine you know square and some other other crap like pi or something so for example if you use like pi times I don't know three or something then pi is, is equal to 3.14 blah 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 whatever they have what the hell is that Let me see so that's the default pi there right uh, if you want to get more help on it you can go well yeah you can just type in help and since we're using the math module we just type in math and this will give us like a command page for it so you see this is like a command page for it and then you can read up on you know whatever uh, math you want to use like trigonometry or whatever the hell it is they have in here uh, if you know exactly what it is it's easier to type in help uh, you know the math module and then dot let's say for example we did um, pi right then we know exactly you know what they have in here uh, and then to exit that you just push Q and same thing with other ones like sine and you can see that it'll just go up to you know that portion and you can read up on it and basically this is what I use um, uh, you know to do math from the command line because I really hate the way that they do it here because let me show you an example the stupid calculator, you know, they copy the cheap calculator that they sell for like a dollar or something like that, like 99 cent store or whatever. But that's stupid because the computer can do more than that. The reason why I hate these stupid calculators, okay, is just that they don't have a history. You know, they don't display the history of whatever you have done. So, for example, you do like plus and then minus or whatever. And you have to press like control Z or something to go back that's stupid right in here you can see exactly what you've done before you see you can go back for example let's do that again Calc and then we go like I don't know 7 plus 3 pi times 9 or some shit um, you know and then you can go backwards like you push up or down you can get like you know the the old history of what you've done and in here you can actually do what's that um, what the hell is it called? Um, I forgot what it's called, but you can do like a substitution or something like that. Like x equals, I don't know, let's say 5. Uh, y equals, uh, let's say 3 or some shit. And then you go like x times y, right? Or x times y minus pi or some shit. Uh, and there you go. So you can do that with that. But the thing that I like about the command line is that you can go back in your history. It's much easier and it's clearer to see. And plus, you can see all these other crap that you've done, as opposed to this stupid ass thing, which I've seen like in Windows and in Linux, which is stupid. I mean, they do have some other advanced stuff. But the thing that I really want is the display option to have like, um, uh, you know, like the TI calculators. That's really what you should copy, you idiots. Not this other crap that you do here because um, most of the time people just use it for basic math and they want to see um, you know their their history of what they're done anyways that's really what I use just Python uh, alias which I'll post you know in the description somewhere if you really want to use it also All right see here calc so it's this is basically this and that's all Again, you need Python because that's what it's using. But the other one is just BC. You can install that from the command line also if you want. Um, so that's it for this one.